E. Howard Clock Company joined the electric master clock revolution late. The self-winding clock company and Standard Electric Time came out with electric self-winding master clocks in the late 1880s. E. Howard's first self-winding master clock appeared in 1904. This clock has run continuously for years. The only exception is when it is stopped for maintenance. For the self-winding clock to run, it simply needs an uninterrupted 12-volt DC power source. With the dial removed, the components of the E. Howard master clock system are revealed. The master clock movement is a very accurate 6dB pendulum regulated self-winding master clock movement. This clock has a bell program to synchronize bell ringing and a pilot clock to monitor the slave clocks. All He Howard clocks have relays and switches and everything is connected by wires on the back of the clock. Some E. Howard master clocks run on 12 volts DC and others run on 24 volts DC. This is an image of the E. Howard master clock movement. The movement is an electric conversion of their revered model 89 regulator movement. In place of the large winding arbor and heavy weight seen on typical E. Howard regulators, there's a small pair of electric coils mounted between the plates and a small mainspring. So how do these master clocks keep running with no attention from anybody? And the answer is through the magic of electricity which is keeping the mainspring fully wound at all times. The mainspring is a small helical wire wound on the center shaft. This small mainspring is only powerful enough to keep the clock running for about an hour, but since it's always full, fully wound, the clock keeps running and running. The master clock movement is mechanical but the actions are initiated by the electrical contacts mounted on the front of the movement. When energized, the winding coils turn into a magnet, which attracts an armature with a lever arm that rewinds the mainspring one click. This happens every minute. The clock runs for a minute, and then the mainspring is rewound. Hence, the movement is essentially fully wound at all times. The other contact is also energized each minute, and the electrical current advances the slave clocks and the bell program one minute. From the side, watch as the armature is pulled in, lifting the lever arm and winding the ratchet wheel one click. That happens every minute, and that's how the mainspring is always kept fully wound. I'm going to finish with a closer look at the tab on the second spit. The tab just closed the top contact to advance the slave clocks in the bell program on the minute. About 30 seconds later, the tab closes the other contact to wind the mainspring. You are watching the magic that eliminates the need to manually wind the mainspring and assures that all con connected clocks and bells are synchronized perfectly with the master clock. There, the mainspring was rewound, and this can go on uninterrupted for years. Many of these E. Howard master clocks are over 100 years old and still keep on ticking. I have other YouTube videos on vintage electromechanical clocks. To find them, just search under my name. Thank you for watching.